Hello, my name is Afzal. In this tutorial video, I am going to show you how to create a thank you page in System IO. So, if you haven't already created an account in System.io, uh, you can find the first link in the description where you can sign up for absolutely free. It has a completely free plan. Now, I already have an account, so I will sign in from here. So, if you have seen my previous video, I already have created this uh, the squeeze page inside this funnel so let me show you that squeeze page first so this was the opt-in page squeeze page that i have created in my previous video if you have not checked checked out that you can go and find the link in the description or here uh, somewhere in the i button so if you can see in this uh, squeeze page or opt-in page i have given a free lead magnet as uh, email uh, one page email marketing guide as lead magnet so now if I come back to my funnel, as you can see, there are two pages. One is squeeze page and second one is thank you page. So if you select this thank you page, you will be given a number of templates to choose from. So I already have created this thank you page. So let me delete it first so that I can show you how to create the landing page from scratch. So now I will uh, cre uh, click on create step and I can name it as I want. So I will name it as thank you page. And from here, I will choose a type opt in thank you page. Opt in thank you page. Then I will click save. So now I have, I will be shown a number of templates to choose from. Now inside thank you page templates, uh, there is no template which is completely blank. So that we have to choose one of these templates. So let's choose this one. And now to edit this, uh, you will have to click this edit page. Now before that, let me show you uh, one thing that most of the people make these two mistakes. First is they don't create that thank you page congruent that to that uh, their squeeze page. So to do that first, I will go to my squeeze page and I will go to the editor first. So now what I will do, I will save this section as my block uh, so if i save this section from here as you can see this section will be saved uh, with this button i can name this uh, what i want whatever i want so i will name it as as landing page one and if you want to check this box you can check it but i will not check before because if you check this box so whenever i make changes to one of my pages it will be changed in all the pages so i will not check this box then from here i will click create so the copy of this landing page will be created inside my blocks so if you uh, if you go, if you want to see that you go to this blocks section and here in my blocks see my landing page block is created so this block i can use to make my thank you page so now I will save changes and go back from here and now I will select a template. I have already have selected a template for this thank you page. So to edit this one, I will click on this magic wand button. So now I, now I want to build this from scratch and congruent to my landing page. So I will delete all the sections already given. So I will delete this one and this section as well and this one also. Uh, one more section is there. Okay, two more sections are there so i will delete these two also so now my page is blank and ready to be built from scratch so what i will do i will go to this blocks section and here i will uh, go to my blocks so this is my landing page that i have created and saved so now i can edit inside this landing page so that my thank you page will look congruent to my landing page so first thing that I will do is I will delete this entire row first so because we are uh, building a thank you page so uh, we are not required these elements these items so now what I will do first of all I will add a heading here that thanks or thank you whatever you can type now one more thing is that that most of the people underestimate the value of a uh, thank you page uh, you can give a strong call to action on your thank you page like you can send your leads to your Facebook group where you can warm them up or you can send them to your YouTube channel or you can send them directly to the sales page or an affiliate 
offer if you are promoting an uh, a product as an affiliate so i will add a call to action inside this page so first of all i will add a headline text so here it is the element headline text i will drag and drop it inside this raw uh, default raw was given to me now i will edit this headline text so instead of this i will type thanks and i will change the font color so it will be visible so let's select white color for this now let's uh, take all the letters as block letters capital letters so it is looking much better now and i will select h1 for this and i will bold this as well and i will remove the padding of this section a bit i will select this section and from here i will remove the padding i will remove it to all the way to the zero so now uh, if you want to preview your page anytime you can click on this i button so that your page will be previewed so as you can see you can preview it and uh, wherever whenever you want so now uh, our headline is created that thanks now i will add some more text so i will drag and drop this text element below this one now in this one i will give them a call to action now what call to action i will give to them that is you can you can check your email inbox in 10 minutes and i will change the color of this now why i have given this call to action uh, i why i have given them 10 minutes uh, because i want to see them this uh, page and i want to watch them the video that i will embed here i will add here and i want them to uh, join my facebook group or subscribe to my channel so that may take 5 to 10 minutes so that's why i will send them the email after the after 10 minutes of uh, opting in my squeeze page so that's why i have given them this strong call to actions that they will check their email inbox after 10 minutes so inside those 10 minutes they can join my facebook group and watch this video as well or uh, subscribe to my youtube channel so now what i will do i will add another headline text so for that i will add one more row so here you can see a row is given so i will just select it you can just click on that uh, element also uh, so that element will be added here so a row is added here now inside it, this row i will add a headline text once again and now inside this headline text i will write important must watch now i will change the color also so let's select this color because i want to watch my uh, watch them my videos uh, that's why i have taken this headline so that they pay attention to my video now i will pull this one and change it to h1 let's say so now it is looking much better you can, uh, you can change the color a bit more so i will select this color so now uh, i've given them a strong call to action to watch my video that i will add uh, after this so after this i will add a video below this so for that again i will add one more row for this now inside this row i will add the video that i want my leads to watch so i will drag and drop this element of video now i if you want to preview your page anytime you can preview uh, here so let's see how our page is looking like so as you can see headline is given as thanks then a call to action is given that they can check their emails after 10 minutes then a strong call to action to watch uh, my video is given here now uh, i will edit this video so i will select this video now from here you have three different options to choose from so you can direct link or custom embed or upload a file directly to system.io so i will uh, choose direct link and here you can paste the link of your video you can upload your video on youtube as 
as an unlisted video and you can paste the link of the video from YouTube here now here uh, two more options are given auto play is one of them and controls is second one so if you want the video to be auto played you can turn it on I will turn it off for now and if you remove all the controls so you can turn it on or off uh, if the controls are off so no one no one of your lead the viewer of video can fast forward the video they will have to watch the entire video so now I will turn the controls off for now and if you want to select a shadow that you can do you can play around these options uh, as you want so inside this video what you can say that uh, you can th first thank them as the headlines uh, says you can thank them and tell them to check the email inbox after 5 minutes or 10 minutes whatever you have taken then you can give them a uh, strong call to action to join your facebook group or youtube channel whatever you are sending them to now my thank you page is almost ready now i will add a button here to send them to my facebook group so before that i will add one more text here where i can give them another call to action that uh, i will write join our facebook community and i will change the color of this let's select this color for this now i will add a button below this so i will first i will add a row so here i will select a row now inside this row i will drag and drop this button option so now as you can see a button is added now i will edit the configurations of this button so first i will select the button now i want to send them to my facebook group so from here i will select open url and i i will paste the link of my facebook uh, facebook group here you can paste your, the link here and if you want that it is it will be open in the new window you can select this option open in a new window and one more thing i will do that i will change the button width to full width so now it is looking much better now i will remove the margins a bit from the top and i will change this button text also instead of click here i will change it to join our facebook group uh, whatever you want you can uh, uh, type here if you want them to join your youtube channel uh, subscribe to your youtube channel you can do that too now increase i will increase the font size as well and i will change the font type also from here so i will select roboto then i don't need this subtext as you can see here so i will remove this and if you want to add an icon so you can do it that from here so if you want to add the icon before the text you will go to this option and if you want to add after the text you can select this one so i want to add it before the text so since uh, i am asking them to join my facebook group so i will select this icon facebook icon so as you can see this icon is added here and if you want to send uh, them to youtube channel you can select that one also and if you want to add after this text so you can select from here for example if you want to send them to your youtube channel so you can type youtube so as you can see an icon is here but right now i don't need it so i will delete it from here then you can change the background color of the button as well from here i will leave it as it is because this color is congruent to the facebook uh, color then from here i will remove the paddings a bit uh, okay let's uh, leave it as it is for now and i will round the corners a bit more so i will go to five on all four corners so as you can see all the four corners are now rounded here and from here i will select a shadow for this button and i will remove the border from here so i will select none so i don't need any border through this now let's preview our page how it is looking so so if you notice one thing there's some space is left here on the top so to remove that i will select this section and i will go here to padding so i will remove this padding so i will select 
it i will drag it all the way down to 100 now let's preview our page how it is looking like so as you can see uh, it is looking much better now a thanks is given then a call to action then a strong call to action to watch your video is given then video is embedded here then again a strong call to action is given to join your facebook group and a button to join the facebook group now our page is almost ready just we just need to add a page footer so to add a page footer you can select any ready-made page footer from here blocks section so let's select from here and you have given different options to choose from i will select this one now first thing that i will do is this is a new section so i will change the background color of this section i will select white sorry black so now i will change this company name this is a text so you can change it as you want i will type my name here then this is a menu so you can edit this one also select this and if you want to add uh, if you don't know how to add a menu so i will show you that one also that thing also so let's delete it from here as you can see from the very in the very bottom a menu option is given so you can drag and drop this menu here so now as you can see a menu is added where two op uh, menu elements are given home and contact but we will edit it instead of home we will write privacy policy and you can paste the link of your privacy policy page here now i don't need contact uh, element here so i will delete it instead of this i will add a new item so from here this button i will add a new item and here i will write terms and conditions and i will paste the link of that page here and if you want the page to be open in a new window you can check these two boxes now if you want to edit this uh, as so you can do that too so i will increase the uh, difference bet uh, distance between these two spacing between these two and if you want to increase or decrease the font size you can do that too so i will decrease it to 24 let's say and i will decrease the line height a bit as well you can change the font as well from here i will leave it as it is now and you can you can play around these options as you want i will change this text also so instead of 2020 i will select 2022 and i will change it to all rights reserved and i will decrease the font size a bit and for this one also i will just decrease the font size a bit so now our thank you page is ready so you can preview this from here so as you can see our thank you page is now ready a strong call to action is also given to uh, your audience and the page footer is added here where these two are clickable links so now if you want to save changes you will click here on save changes and you want to go back from here and if you want to share the thank you page uh, the link is here you can copy from here so that's all from this video if you got any value out of this video you can like the video and subscribe to the channel and if you haven't already signed up for system.io which is a completely free tool so you can check out the first link in the description that's all from this video. Thank you and goodbye.